Hi, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner, and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, we're going to answer a question from one of our viewers on YouTube. So thank you very much, Mr. Churchill, for asking this question. He says here, how do you share and schedule reports to be emailed to customers? This is extremely easy in other tools, but for some reason, I can't find any information on how to do this in Salesforce. So we're going to show you how to do it. Now, the first thing to know is that you can't do it out of the box. There's no built-in feature that lets you send reports or dashboards to people who are not users in Salesforce. You can certainly do it if they're a colleague of yours, if they have a username in Salesforce, but if they're a partner or a customer, you're out of luck. Luckily, we're not totally out of luck. Uh, so the first thing I did upon seeing this question was take a look at the Salesforce App Exchange and search for email report. And you can see we get quite a few options of apps that might be good solutions to this problem. The first two were from Cloud Answers. One is a free version, one is a paid version. Uh, then we've got Report AX and then Peak Logic Report Sender. I already looked at Cloud Answers Report Sender and installed it into my developer environment. You can certainly do the same. And if you're going to do that, I recommend you install it into your sandbox or developer environment to try it out. Make sure that you like it before you add it to production. So here we are in Salesforce. I've installed it. I've given myself a permission set to access it. And now we can bring up the Report Sender app. The way this works, it's pretty simple. You can create new schedules for when a report is going to be sent and who it's going to get sent to. So I've already created one here. I'll click Edit. And you can see the different fields that it's looking for you to fill in. Name the scheduled report. Uh, choose the report that you want to send give the email a subject, write a body for the email, choose the from address, uh, which could be the scheduling user. So that's me right now, because I'm creating the schedule. It could be the running user. Uh, that would be the person who is running the report. So when you create the report, you can select a running user. Um, and that's one of the options here. And then you can add email addresses here. I just added one, hey, at rotav.io, but you could add multiple. Next, what we're gonna do is schedule it. So I did two, 2 o'clock p.m. and I'm looking to send this every weekday which actually is a little intense so I'll change that to weekly and we'll just send it on Fridays and then you can choose the file format CSV Excel etc if you have the free version I think you're limited to CSV if you get the paid version I believe that unlocks the two Excel options and then you can also set if you want this to retry immediately if it fails or if you want to retry it just a certain number of times before it gives up. That's about it. I already sent myself a test and I'll show you what that looks like. So here's the email that came to me, the latest case report from Rose Apothecary. Hey there, check out this report. And then we have the report attached and that's just a simple CSV. One of the great things about Salesforce and the Salesforce community is there's so many independent developers and consultants that are creating solutions they're solving their own problems often, and they make a lot of that that they develop available for free or for a cost. So when you come across an issue like this where you see a missing feature, the first place to go is the App Exchange. See if other people have had the same problem and if they found solutions to that problem. In this case, we've got a couple choices, and it looks to me like the Cloud Answers option is a pretty good one. So as always, we hope you find these videos helpful. If you do, please hit the like button and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.